Hi friends! Yesterday, I told you about the summer when my sister, cousin, and I pulled horse weeds out of a soybean field on the family farm. Some people approach Christian living like pulling weeds, constantly working to root out the evil, sin, and selfishness that find fertile soil in our human nature. But like pulling weeds, that feels like a losing battle. So many people burn out or just give up. So how do we persevere in living a Christian life without burning out? Is there an alternative to pulling weeds? Well, Hebrews 12 gives us some helpful insight. In verses 1 and 2, it says, Let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. One remedy for burnout is to look to Jesus, or as some translations say, to fix our eyes on Jesus. Let me tell you why my sister, cousin, and I persisted in pulling horse weeds that summer. When the work was finished, my dad promised to take us on a canoe ride in the new canoe that we had just bought. When we got hot and tired and dirty, we set our mind on that cool, wet, refreshing canoe ride, and we kept going. The promise of what was to come was an inspiration to continue the work. Fixing our eyes on Jesus is more profound than simply grim determination to follow the example of the perfect master. Setting our mind on Jesus is about having an object of inspiration, which then drives us to express something about it. Think about how painters pursue their art. They see all of the same things that we do. So what drove Claude Monet to keep painting canvas after canvas of those same old water lilies? What drove Vincent van Gogh to keep painting those same old wheat fields? Great painters observe until they find something to admire. They look carefully. They involve their intellect and their emotions, their history and experience, their training and their creativity. And then something hits them. They see something achingly beautiful in a line of trees against the clouds. They see something strikingly true in the lines on a grandmother's face. They've been inspired, and they have something to express on their canvas. And so they'll spend hour after hour, day after day, week after week, working happily until they've given shape and color to that thing that they admire. We can find tremendous energy for our spiritual life when we look at Jesus with the eyes of an artist. Jesus inspires us to persevere, not by giving us a long list of duties to perform, not by laying a guilt trip on us, not by threatening us, but by being a personal friend, a person we can admire. Jesus inspires us by showing us beauty and truth, and it strikes us in a way that drives us to express something about it. Living a vital and sustainable faith requires us to shift our focus from pulling weeds to admiring Christ. Pulling weeds keeps our focus on sin, always pointing it out or shaking a finger at it or trying to avoid it. Admiring Christ keeps our focus on Jesus and his example of faith and peace, joy, hope, and love. Now, don't get me wrong, there are definitely things that we should do our best to avoid and to guard against. But if we shift our focus from the sin that we avoid to the Jesus that we admire, we can begin to express something beautiful about God. 
If we shift our energy from fighting off temptation to persisting in doing good, we can persevere without burning out. If we shift our spiritual paradigm from pulling weeds to painting masterpieces, then we will find deeper meaning and greater fulfillment. So try looking at faith and life through the eyes of an artist and then expressing the beauty that you find in your attitudes, words, and actions. Thanks for listening. I'll see you again soon.